Hello, hello, and today's video is full of giant prizes and surprises. Exciting. Face in your face. So first up we have my first unboxing is from the lovely Lucy at Spink Bugs and Bits. Now I won this on Mitch's Christmas raffle, um, charity raffle, uh, very exciting, um, waited a couple of weeks because the weather has been absolutely dreadful, far too cold for inverts to be posted out. And we have the giant hooded catadids, catadids, I'm not sure how to say it. But they are awesome. I'm well chuffed to have these in my collection. And at least when I spoke to Lucy, she sent me two bigger ones and also three smaller ones. So that's well, I wasn't even expecting that money. So thanks so much, Lucy. They are so cool. And we'll be rehousing them a little bit later. Only in something temporary for now, um, as I need to order a new Rapti Breeze because I want to get them something cool to stay in, like a little feature on my collection wall. Now my next parcel was something I ordered myself but my partner um, actually went house with me and this is from a lovely gentleman I found on eBay but then we got chatting on Instagram and that's his Instagram there if you want to go and check him out. He does some amazing, amazing sorry, beetle grubs. Now I got six of the giant African flower beetles, MTUs, which is awesome. And I also got what I ordered, should I say, uh, four of the brain rhinoceros beetle, the Gideons. They are L3, so as you can see them underneath here, they are huge already. And lastly, I ordered uh, five Goliath Goliath, the giant flower beetles, the biggest, largest beetles, um, well, largest flower beetles, should I say. And I'm just going to set the enclosures up. Now, I've done this on time lapse because it takes ages and you don't want to watch me doing individual tubs and holes. I just put in some flakes oil in and rehydrating it so it's damp to touch, sticks together, but it's not soggy. First up we have the Gideons, now Carl told me that they are L3, he only actually had four left so I bought them all, uh, they're a beautiful rhino beetle species and as you can see they are very big already so I'm just popping them into these larger deli cups with some flake saw, I'll probably be popping some rotten wood in there as well at some point, look how big it is, that's my finger already. They are awesome beetles. Now you've got to be gentle with them and also just be aware that they can give you a little nip. So keep your fingers away from that, their jewels. And that's it, you just pop them in, they'll dig themselves back, you know, down to where they want to be, munch through that, just check on them every now and again, see if they need their flakes all replacing. And that's it really for these. Uh, next up, we have a species I've been after for quite a while. They are the Goliath Goliath, giant flower beetles. They are awesome, enormous beetles. Um, Carl, who I bought them from, is very kindly giving me an extra one, so thank you so much, Carl. Uh, all his links and stuff will be in the description, so please go check him out. He uh, breeds some awesome beetles. I'm just looking for the little guy here. And then we'll get him set up in his new home. Temporary, because these get huge as well. Now I popped it in with flake soil 
Uh, but Carl also told me that they like to eat pretty much anything, so I'll be putting some leaf litter, some probably some uh, koi pellets in there because they like those. Oh, where is he? Oh, there he is, just popping and poking out there. I'll give you a closer look in a second. How cute is that? And last but not least, by any means, are the MTUs, the uh, flower beetles. That they are come in a range of colours. They are very beautiful flower beetles. Uh, I think these are like L1 maybe slash L2. I can't remember. Um, I'll have to check with Carl again. Mm, there they are there. Very cute. And I've got six of those. So I'm hoping I can raise them to adults and do my own breeding eventually. Now we move on to rehousing our giant hood hooded catadids, catadids, someone please tell me how to say it properly. Um, uh, basically I'm just putting them a temporary setup for now. Um, like I said before, I'm going to buy them a big reptibreeze because they grow very large um, and I want to show them off in my room or even my new art room and just um, cut a hole out of a deli cup and put some water in it so the bramble can go in there but also stops any of them falling in to the water and drowning because we don't want that. I also bought a butterfly net from Amazon that they're just going in for now and I'm just going to set that up with some paper towel on the bottom with the pot with some bramble and then I'll pop them in there and then we'll have a little look at them. And if by magic, here we are, here's the finished setup. Like I said, paper towel on the bottom, the pot with water and bramble, fresh bramble, which have sprayed the leaves so they can drink off of and keeps them nice and humid. And here they are in their enclosure. They are so cute. My camera work is not the best. I'm looking for a new camera if anyone has any recommendations. I use my phone, which is pretty good, but it it's not perfect for some things, especially not close up on smaller insects. And I also have a picture of the adult, which I will show you now. The parents from Lucy, which is beautiful, so I can't wait for them to grow. And now let's just end on a little close up of them. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Some beautiful giant species of beetles and katydids there. Uh, pretty sure that's how to say it now after checking. Um, so a big shout out to Carl, the beetle breeder, and to Lucy from Spink Bugs and Bits. They are both lovely, lovely people. Um, huge shout out to them. All their links will be in the description below, so please check them out. Um, and also, I just wanted to give a big shout out to some of my friends in the community who surprised me with this beautiful card and this amazing, I don't know if you can see it, hoodie and some sweets. Um, thank you guys, it really did cheer me up, but I've had a bit of a tough year, so I really appreciate it. Um, you all know who you are, I would name you all, but there's loads and it would take ages, but I love you all. Um, as always, to subscribe to my channel, please click the link below, um, notification bell for future videos, and I hope to see you all in the next one. See you later. Face in your face.